Okay. Welcome everyone to this uh, mini edition of the KCP community meeting. Um, it will probably be a short one today, uh, but nevertheless, this meeting is governed by the CNCF code of conduct. So please be excellent to each other. Um, and with that being said, Mike, you wanted to discuss the hand chart. So let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, well, I mainly plead for help for my colleague, Franco Stolard. He was actually working on it. Um, he's trying to get it working in OpenShift and having trouble. Um, I just wanted to confirm that that is something that is intended to work and see if I can get someone to help him. OK. Um, I think the the challenge there is that we don't have a lot of OpenShift knowledge on the maintainer team right now and on specifically with the people working a lot on the helm chart. Um, so I'm not sure if anyone tested it in the recent past. Um, we mm -hmm. tried to make some changes. For example, the security context is now conf like completely configurable. Um, that should help already, I guess. But Mike, do you know what specific problems uh, your colleague has? Or No, I'm afraid I have not been following this work closely. I do recall that I brought this up in a previous community meeting, and uh, some people indicated that they did have OpenShift knowledge. I guess they're not in this call today. Um, but no longer access to OpenShift. So they volunteered to work with me because I have access and Franco has access. Um, I, my attention has been focused elsewhere, but if we could find the people who do have OpenShift knowledge and hook them up with Franco, and you guys, I'm hoping we can get something done. Yeah, basically it was Stefan and me, but the problem is that we both uh, ex excellent hatters and our experience and at some point and i think your issue is a bit newer than our understanding like it's a it's the same as somebody new would be looking to the same stuff uh that's disappointing um so yeah, it's, presumably it's, it's, so let me ask i mean i'm i'm, I'm not very familiar with OpenShift myself or even the kind of the community or ecosystem around it where does someone who is struggling with OpenShift go for help? I would. Did you try the OpenShift users uh, channel in the in the Kubernetes flag? Uh, again, it's Franco that's struggling. I don't know whether he has. I'll ask him about that. I would say, like, uh, if a, as a community, OpenShift users channel in a Kube Slack. Uh, second one, if you don't get there would be OpenShift has all the components open source in a GitHub repo. So try to raise a issue there under particular component. Usually developers are quite friendly to answer those, even if it's not directly touching the code, like from the user's perspective. And the first you should be able to have an entitlement so you should have access to like access.redhead.com which yes i know i do and, and franco will soon if he doesn't already yeah and that's like most official channel which will go through it might be a bit slower but at this at this point in time i'm not sure if speed is what you're looking for but that will get rooted to the right people and with people with right certain obligations to answer because it's an official support channel. Thank you. Now, the other part of Franco's uh, concern or question was, uh, you know, if he does encounter uh, issues that need changes to the Helm chart or they're specific to, to OpenShift, um, you know, he wanted confirmation that you guys are interested in maintaining the fact or achieving the fact and maintaining the fact that the Helm chart does work on OpenShift. So are open to whatever uh, you know changes are needed uh, or support is needed to, to get that to happen. I mean, I don't see any any issues with making the Helm chart flexible enough to support both vanilla Kubernetes and OpenShift. 
I think that's a very welcome addition. Um, and yeah, I agree. I, I, I think let, let's 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 be completely frank here. We will do our best not to break it once it's there, because we will see things in the helm chart and say, "Oh, okay, there's something different happening for OpenShift." Um, it it's just difficult to test sometimes, to be honest. And you, but, no, I understand. Right? I mean, you guys have said that you don't yeah. have access to OpenShift, so it's it's clear that there's going to be a testing issue. Um, Okay, so thank you. That that's a that's the most best answer I could expect. Thank you very much. Yeah. Even that there is a I already see that there is a leftover resources in the the helm chart after refactoring. So it already has like OpenShift roots for the ingress objects and things like that. And in the end, like if I know we don't do testing now as much in the CI as we should, but just because basically I think we semi-actively using it in a environment with the, on the native Kubernetes, so we know it works. If there would be some CI job using Minishift just to trying to install it and run it, I think that's more than welcome to add it via GitHub jobs or Prowl. So it's just not enough time in a week to cover each and every corner. OK, let me make sure I understood you. So I'm not familiar with Minishift. Is that something that can be run in a Prow job? It used to be in my old earlier days, but again, need to check what's the state currently. I know we've been moving and refactoring a bit. That's um, okay. So, so Minishift seems to be a deprecated project. It's for OpenShift 3.x. Um, okay. There is a replacement that's called code ready containers i'm not sure mm. i've never heard of it before yeah those yeah. are vm based like minishift used to be a container inside of container like a docker and docker didn't i think the container ready one is a virtual machine now so it might be harder to run it Yeah, we like, sorry, go ahead. Now it's with all these either mini shift or mini cube kind, whatever, you still have the same problems where it's a bit further from the reality because you can't use ingress as such and and the cert manager might be behaving differently and things like that. So as 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 close as it gets to the production, it's not production. I mean it's a it's an additional step of validation right it, it's not a hundred percent but it gets you like more from the zero i mean we're not at zero but it gets you like in the right direction um and i was thinking about a similar thing just for like running it on top of kind in the ci pipeline as well um so if we build that and there is a variant for openshift that we can integrate uh, i think that that would be fine um yeah so yeah yeah something's better than nothing but so far i'm hearing you don't know of any kind of open shift at all that can be run in a proud job i i honestly was expecting that mini shift still alive so my knowledge ended at that point when the answer was no yeah i i think it's since it just came up we would need to like start to like do a bit of research. I think at the moment we're not aware of something. Um, this CRC, maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, maybe there are alternative solutions. Um, yeah. All right. I'll try asking on OpenShift users and see if anybody knows. Thank you. Then that would be great. And maybe as an addition, um, since we don't know what problems exactly uh, your your colleague is facing, I think the the I'm at least I'm like pretty actively monitoring the Helm charts issue tracker. So if they just want to share their problems, um, even maybe without specific OpenShift knowledge, we can maybe um, see from the problems they are facing what might be the direction we need to go with the Helm chart. Then we can iterate based on that with them. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, 
I think that's it uh, for all the topics that we are going to have today. Um, the other topics I was I want to talk about are for the KCP maintainers, and I think we should have a quorum uh, to discuss them. So, do we do we have any other business we want to discuss? No, maybe just did you see any follow ups on the checklist stuff? Did we? Uh, I took a look. Right, I can I can bring it quickly. I I updated it where I had or where things were uh, very well improved. Uh, so, for example, um, the maintainers list has been accepted by CNCF has been merged. Um, yeah, maybe 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 just a question for you, MJ. Um, I sent the CNCF folks uh, our list of email addresses for the maintainers, and I received an invitation. Did you get yours as well? Yes, I did. Perfect. Yeah. So that seems to be done as well. Um, so from the, we can just briefly talk about it. We'll bring it up next time again. The open SSF best practices batch is still missing. It seems that just someone needs to click through the, it looked like a questionnaire the last time I checked. Um, someone just needs to start that and own it uh, for KCP, but we can discuss who wants to do that next week. Um, so the only thing which I would do is, uh, I think that the invites which you send I think we are short lived, so we might need to chase people. Yeah, to... let me. I can quickly check. Uh, let me see if I can find the email. Um, the invitation. Yeah, it's link is uh, 14 days and expires on 11.22nd. OK, that's before our next meeting. Then, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let, let me let me bring this topic up on the KCP Dev channel then. Yeah, it's just see. that people would not filter it out. Maybe just post an email headline saying, like, folks, accept it, and that's it. Yeah, thank you, Mike. See you. Um, yeah. Uh, let's do that, um, and then, so, then we can go from there. I can I can post something. I even see, like I already see there is a six people in the list. Maybe we can see who's accepted, who not. Or it's no, it doesn't show that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Let, let let's see. Um, I will. I can follow up with uh, the people on the Qematic side, and then I think we would need to ask Stefan and Andy if they also received their, uh, theirs. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think that's it. It's only the two of us. So I will stop the recording.